the absolute essence of DJing is reading the crowd because two words, entertainment and enlightenment. And what that means to me is playing new music, introducing people to new music while keep making sure that they are having a good time. I think the further I've got into my DJing career experience, lifespan, I've realized more and more about crowd appreciation. And I don't just mean rocking the crowd, I mean taking into consideration you know, that they've worked all week, they've bought a ticket, they've put the effort into coming. So with all those things in mind, I think it's really important that you give 100% every single gig. Even if you get there and there's literally one person, even more than if it's full to make sure that that person has a, has a great time. But reading the crowd in a typical DJ environment, it's a real skill. For example, if you come here today and you want to learn how to beat match, I could teach you in 10 minutes. No problem, you never forget it. But teaching a person how to read a crowd, you have to take in the sound system, the environment, the weather, the, the equipment, the staff, how you've been treated, your mood, the mood of like thousands of people, whether the DJ before you has set the tone right. So all these variables, which are all different on every single gig. So you need to be completely prepared for any of them. When you do any gig, you never leave empty handed. And what I mean by that is you might learn how to replug this in or deal with the doorman, deal with the equipment not working over, over here or get into the gig or the sound isn't right. All these variables will help you understand that the essence of what it is like to relax enough to be able to kind of do your job properly. What can be gained, you know, is the most important thing is to make sure that the people in the room have a, have a, the best time possible. Through all these gigs that you may or may not have, not have done over the years, small gigs, big gigs, medium gigs, bedroom gigs, after parties, any of these, these things, hopefully your musical repertoire will be the widest it's ever been. With me, I play from deep all the way to brutal techno, um, but it's always with the heartbeat of house music. But the point it raised is because my spectrum is so is so wide. It's not like I started with that spectrum. The reason it's wide is because I've been playing for so long, and I understand the difference between when when I'm walking into a room and how it feels, and having the confidence in the records that you've selected in advance to be able to kind of channel the you know the care for that music to the audience. And that is one thing that they will know every single time, whether you give a shit about that music or not. Um, if you're playing records that you don't really care about, it, you can't help but have a body language that represents that. But if you're into, if you're playing a record that you really do care about, they can tell. And they, music is about connection, and that's the whole point of reading the crowd. If you can connect with one person, then two, then three, and then the audience, and they feel confident, and eventually, over time you'll realize, okay, this is working or this isn't.